Hey guys, welcome back to another bedtime story review. Tonight we are looking at the classic On the Night You Were Born by Nancy Tillman. Um, you've probably heard of this one, you may have read it. It, I think, has sort of a, a bit of a following. Um, at least I've seen it, you know, around a few places. I never read it before. We received this as, um, it's actually really sweet, a Christmas gift from our librarian. Um, and I want to talk about it today because as with a lot of the books that I've been doing in this series, I have some weird nitpicky conflicts and love-hate things with this, which we're going to be talking about. But instead of bringing them all up at the end, I actually wanted to tell you about the one before we go in so that you can tell me um, if I'm if I'm wrong. Uh, it's about the meter. I feel like I might be reading this wrong and I don't see how because it has this weird, I feel like I'm being gaslit like by this book. I'm being gaslit by the meter of this book that I read a few pages and it's all um, in like, I don't know, I, I don't know poetry words, but it's got a nice poetry, poetry ring to it. There's rhyme, there's meter, and then suddenly it goes away for a few pages and then it comes back and it makes me think like, was it there all along and I was just reading it wrong? So I want you to tell me in the comments down below if you think that I'm just reading this incorrectly and that's why it doesn't seem to make sense to me. Let's go ahead and read On the Night You Were Born by Nancy Tillman. On the night you were born, the moon smiled with such wonder that the stars peeked in to see you and the night wind whispered, life will never be the same because there had never been anyone like you ever in the world. So enchanted with you were the wind and the rain that they whispered the sound of your wonderful name. The sound of your name is a magical one. Let's say it out loud before we go on. It sailed through the farmland high on the breeze, over the ocean, and through the trees. Sorry about this page, it got some breast milk on it or something. <laughs> Baby spit. Until everyone heard it and everyone knew of the one and only ever you. Not once had there been such eyes, such a nose, such silly, wiggly, wonderful toes. In fact, I think I'll count to three so you can wiggle your toes for me. When the polar bears heard, they danced until dawn. From faraway places, the geese flew home. The moon stayed up until morning next day, and none of the ladybugs flew away. So whenever you doubt just how special you are, and you wonder who loves you, how much and how far, listen for geese honking high in the sky. They're singing a song to remember you by. Or notice the bear is asleep at the zoo. It's because they've been dancing all night for you or drift off to sleep to the sound of the wind. Listen closely, it's whispering your name again. If the moon stays up until morning one day, or a ladybug lands and decides to stay, or a little bird sits at your window a while, it's because they're all hoping to see you smile. For never before in story or rhyme, not even once upon a time, has the world ever known a you, my friend, and it never will, not ever again. Heaven blew every trumpet and played every horn on the wonderful, marvelous night you were born. So like what was going on on that first page? Am I completely off? Because this has like no poetry to it. Is it like, is it like when you have a song and there's like for some reason like a spoken introduction, it's supposed to be all poetic and cool, but it's basically just like people talking before the good stuff starts. Like, is that what this is? It's like an introduction to the poem? Or is this supposed to be part of the poem? Anyway, uh, let's start with all of the good things that I like about this book. First of all, the illustrations obviously are delightful. Um, I believe, it doesn't say that there's a different illustrator. I believe Nancy Tillman did the art as well as the writing. Um, and it's just, it's a very soothing kind of, you know, cohesive, dreamlike, um, I would say, art style. And um, it's got, you know, a lot of 
things that are easy for young children to point out, the moon, the birds, the bears, you know, she knows all these words for. Um, and so it's, you know, it's really pretty. It's very nice to look at. Um, obviously, it's a very sweet little story about you're a very special person, obviously. Um, and that's a good message for little kids to hear. I feel like at, uh, at some point, they got to start hearing us some balance about like, hey, other people are important too. But um, that's not what this book is about. This book is about you're the special one. So let's get nitpicky. <laughs> because I can just never be, I can never be completely satisfied with these children's books. And I'm always left with like, if it were me, I would change that. Um, okay, so about the art style, some of it is like some weird photorealism that like, there's this baby face that kind of creeps me out up in the corner here. Like, I don't know why it's in the sky exactly. Um, anyway, I already said the thing about the whole egotism and, you know, other people are also important. Uh, the moon staying up until morning next day. Okay, so like I'm an astronomy buff. And when people get stuff about the moon wrong, it's like, how, how can you get the moon wrong? It's in the sky every day, you know? And you know that it has phases, right? So like, yeah, the moon stays up until morning when either it gets too bright for you to be able to see it properly or it was a full moon all night, which in this case, it is a full moon. So yeah, it goes up in the evening and stays down, it goes down in the morning. I don't know, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know why it bugs me that that's supposed to be like a, a thing that's like, oh, you know. Also, what if your child was not born on the night of a full moon? What if your child was born during the day? Yeah, it's some of the things that like, it shouldn't bug me, it doesn't need to bug me, because obviously, there was a night after the day she was born, and maybe that's when this applies. But like, so I had a scheduled C-section because my daughter was breech. So I never went into labor. This It was scheduled on my due date. I never went into labor before my due date. We showed up at the hospital at nine o'clock for an 11 o'clock scheduled uh, C-section. And um, yeah, the baby was born at 11.51 a.m noon basically the opposite of night um so obviously that's a really dumb reason for me to be like salty about this book <laughs> but I can never be happy um I guess that's where I am right now I I guess I just want to hear in the comments that you all think that I'm crazy and that this book is really really sweet and that your kids love it and that you love it and there's nothing wrong with it um because I don't know why it bothers me and I honestly thought that when I came in to film this video that I was going to be a lot more 50-50 about it. I was going to be like, it's a really charming book. Um, it's not, it's not Sleepy ABC. I'll, I'm going to keep linking to that one because, oh my goodness, I hate that book. No, it's not Sleepy ABC. I think a lot of these things, a lot of things about this book are really great. Um, I have the sweet memory of, uh, of receiving it as a gift from our librarian. Um, and... I really like that it's a board book. Obviously, it's got a nice cover. Um, unfortunately, it did get that rip in the middle because she was uh, touching it with her. She, you know, she breastfed, she put it on her hand, she touched the book, and then we closed it. Um, but we actually have a second copy of this. It's smaller, it's a board book, and it is, I think, in a different room. Um, but yeah, we have, we have two copies. I thought it was over there. Sleepy ABC is over there, don't look. That's all I really want to say. I feel like if I go on too long, then um, the ghost of Nancy Tillman will, I mean, she's alive, I assume, will like rise up and, and smite me because there's no reason I shouldn't like this book. And if reading it today, um, if none of my nitpicks bother you, then you should absolutely go out and get a copy of this for your next baby shower because it's super cute. And um, I also like, I want to look, there's some, some more books listed on the back. Um, and they all have the same beautiful art style, and I, I want to check these out too because there's a lot of things about her art style and her writing that I think are really endearing and sweet. Um, so it's like, it's not like I'm turned off her forever, you know? Even though I didn't like ABC, Sleepy ABC, I still like Goodnight Moon. So nothing, nothing ruins everything. 
except me and your day. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend after I just dunked on your favorite bedtime book. Um, if you enjoyed this at all, there's a whole playlist of um, bedtime book reviews which will be linked at the end. You can check those out. Watch me dunk all over Sleepy ABC. Um, and then generally, if you're new here, welcome, subscribe. I post videos twice a week and these parenting and baby ones are on Sundays. So I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday, which is it going to be my plan with me video? I think it's going to be a March plan with me video because time flies. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.